Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 18, and this is war number 9. And as you can see, we're going up against an alliance called Shield of the War Gods. Now, in scouting out my path, I made a very crucial mistake. I didn't realize, and I was not the only one, that we have gone up a tier. All right, now that makes a big difference. So I take path one in section one, and you will notice that I am going to be fighting a defender on this first node. And look at the defense tactic. We're back dealing with flow, which is a horrible defense tactic. And by the way, Ghost Rider, as you can see there, is a control champion. So I'm having to deal with flow. They have done a good job on their defense. They're putting in control champions that you have to deal with that flow every time you crit on them. You know, you achieve a critical hit, they're going to get a power gain. All right. So I was a little bit worried. I did not factor that in when I chose my team or else I would have probably brought guillotine 2099 and not warlock. But it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I was not the only one. All right. So see that power flood there. And so I'm playing a little bit wary because I don't want to push them to a special three. I really, really don't like that defense tactic. But there are some changes coming uh, for season 19 that's going to address that. All right. So we took down Ghost Rider. Not a difficult opponent, but with flow, it makes it more challenging, which is what it was supposed to do, right? So you can see here the next champion is the Hood. And guess what? He's also a control champion. So at this point, I'm thinking, oh, man, are they going to just fill their entire defense with control champions? That's not going to be fun. OK, so just look at this. Look at how I'm having to fight. Normally, I like to fight very aggressive. But with that defense tactic, it makes every fight against a control champion one that I have to play a little bit more defensively passively and i just don't like it it doesn't make the fight fun for me and i already don't like war all right but we got down the hood without too much difficulty now you may notice that this mini boss is open if you've been watching my uh war videos you'll know that i normally don't take this first uh mini boss because it's not open and we have someone on the team who just brings in counters for that uh, psychic thorns and, and all of that. And they just go straight through, you know, they might boost up for their path or not. And they just clear their path and the mini and we're done. But this time it's open. And yes, she is a control champion. So we will have to deal with the uh, flow. But I'm thinking my Omega Red can take care of her. All right. So you're looking at this here. I'm just going in and I'm trying to be careful. You see there, I was pausing to try to get more spores on her without hitting her and giving her more power. Okay. Then I did a heavy to lock it in. I'm doing some more heavies to lock those in. Uh, I'm still learning how to fight with uh, Omega Red effectively. Okay. See there, now she's got a power flood. So I've got to bait this out, all right? Fortunately, she went ahead and threw it, so we're good. All right, there's that power flood again every time I get a critical hit, and then she gets me. I was a little too slow, and then I just started getting hit. I'm like, oh, wait. I'll say, I got, I got something for you. There we go, intercept with a special off the wall, all right? So I had to recover because when she hit me, my timing was off, so that was my fault, and I just got off kilter. And so I just retreated back to the uh, wall, but I had a special two ready and she was almost gone thanks to the spores and everything. And I backed up to the wall and then I just waited. And as soon as she attacked, just like the AI does to us now, even though we're told that the AI hasn't changed, um, that is what happened. All right. So we're going to go on to section two. 
We're going to leave that Iron Man Infinity War alone, but you guys will get to see that fight. All right. I do have the recordings of that fight being taken, uh, that Iron Man fin Infinity War being taken down. All right. So first up in section two, we take path two and we got to fight this Emma Frost. All right. So I went ahead and put a little baby boost on. And I don't think I'm going to have too much difficulty with Emma Frost. Uh, but just in case, you know, we don't want to go in with uh, our health so low. Just in case, you know. All right. So with uh, Emma Frost here, the node is Empowered Immunity. Um, I'm used to that. All right. And so we're just going to go in. Now, with Emma Frost, she can be annoying because you can't parry her right off. Okay, but fortunately with my Omega Red, I don't need to parry. Okay, and you saw there I was able to uh, evade. Notice that she is not awakened. That can trip you up because only when she's awakened do you have the reverse controls. So if you're used to fighting Emma Frost with the reverse controls and then you encounter an Emma Frost unawakened and you don't realize that, you can get caught. I used to get caught by that earlier on. You know, I finally trained my fingers to do it in reverse and then I encountered one that was not awakened and got wrecked. All right, so with her, you can evade just normally uh, because she's not awakened. And what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to get more spores on her, uh, but then I started thinking, you know what? I need to just go ahead and fire my special three off so that she has more power than I do. So I'm not fighting her in diamond form for the entire time. Not that it makes that big of a difference with Omega Red. I still want to get those spores uh, on her. All right, see, she's not in diamond form right now because she has one bar of power and she has more power than I do. Okay, so at this point, I can go ahead and parry her. See, she's not in diamond form. So I should have done that before, so I didn't have to deal with it. Now she is, because I have more power, fired off my special one, and the fight is over. Okay, so she's not that difficult to deal with, especially if you know how to evade her special one. You will notice that I did not push her to a special two. It can be evaded, I just don't like it. All right, so now I'm going to fight Colossus. And again, this is on a empowered immunity node because we are up a tier. So we're back dealing with the nodes that, you know, I'm familiar with here. Uh, but since I'm not going in here with any champion that does damage that he is immune to, I'm not having to worry about that. So again, with Omega Red, we're just uh, building up those spores, you know, hitting the heavy to lock the spores in place to make it easier to build up. Uh, that's something that I'm learning to do here. And you'll see how I evade that special one. I don't just dash, dash back because you can get trapped in the corner doing that. Okay, so I usually try to evade back only at the last minute so that I'm not losing that much uh, ground. Okay, um, but as you can see here, we're having no problem uh, with this Colossus here. Um, they've beefed him up considerably though. All right, so at this point, I probably could have fired my special three off, but I was like, you know what? Not worried about that. Uh, I should have done it earlier when he had less power, you know, uh, because I could get a little bit of heal. Um, but since I'm gonna be taking him out with the special three, I don't get any of the healing back that I would have, uh, provided he has spores on him. All right, but we were able to clear both our paths without a death that is my goal it was achieved all right and you see there i even got an objective yay all right so now i cannot take this uh next fight because it's not cleared but here's the bonus footage that i was talking about this is where that gets cleared and you'll see what happens uh why you know i don't get a chance to fight that mini boss all right, so you saw that he boosted up, boosted to the T, okay? And he's fighting this Iron Man Infinity War. You see all those power floods, that's defense tactics, hate it. 
And Corvus, of course, gets all crits. But Iron Man Infinity War is best fought with Corvus. That's like one of the best options. So it's a very good placement of Iron Man Infinity War, you know, combined with the defense tactic flow. Because you would want to bring in your Corvus, so you're going to be triggering uh, the uh, flow and power flood constantly. And then, of course, he gets a power flood himself when he gets too low. Um, I believe it's below 18% uh, or 15%. I forget. All right. So very good placement. So my alliance mate here is doing a very good job. Um, he is countering with heavies. That's how you want to fight Iron Man. He's managing his um, charges because you don't want to run out of charges. Okay. So he's building up. All right, he's got a special two ready. He messed up there because, and I've done this as well, he's got so many armor ups that uh, he's, at, he's auto blocking at this point. You can't attack him normally. You've got to hit him with heavies or your specials. And boom, he was able to take him down. All right, within the 20 charges that Iron Man, I mean, uh, Corvus usually gets. All right, and he continues on those boosts. You know, um, I don't think he still has the invulnerability boost active. Uh, you saw it get triggered when he um, made that uh, mistake. But now he's going to fight Green Goblin. All right. And I forget what the nodes are. I think the nodes change. Um, Buffet and Masochism, I think, are on that path. All right. But Warlock is a great option for this path. And I did bring a Warlock, and we did discuss possibly... Uh, me swapping over to that path for section two since my warlock was still alive uh, and I think uh, one of my other alliance mates warlocks had uh, been killed I think that was in this war um, I, I could be wrong all right but just look at this warlock just tore him up man do I love warlock all right so he's going on you see me right down there that's where I stopped okay so finally you get a chance to see behind the scenes. Normally in my war videos, all you see is me stop there and then I'll just tell you, yeah, and then they cleared it. Well, now you got a chance to see the clearing. All right, all on that one boost. All right, now his warlock is awakened, which means when he gets that infection, he is also putting a little degen on him. That little extra damage, makes a difference over the course of a fight the fight is over sooner and we're gonna see a fight uh with my warlock who is unawakened uh, a little bit later on here all right so he was able to take down that saber tooth lickety split okay now he didn't include the footage of the uh mini and uh the uh, next i don't know what you call that other one i guess that's another mini um being taken down so that was all we had from him, just his path clearing. All right, so now just look at this. All right, so one of my alliance mates had gone in against the Symbiote Supreme, who again is control. And, uh, you know, he, he wasn't able to get him down. I believe um, he was one of those, just like me, that didn't realize we had gone up a tier and we're going to have to deal with uh, flow you know, the defense tactic and all of that. So I'm looking over this and I'm like, okay, you know, I got some good fights in. I even got a mini, but you know what? In previous wars, I haven't gotten a lot of fighting in. All right. And so I looked at the uh, score and we have a pretty big lead at this point. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? It won't hurt if I go ahead and uh, go in and, you know, try my hand at it. You know, I'm not the best fighter, but uh, since we have some, you know, a nice little lead, I figured, let me let me try it. Let me let me go ahead and try it. You know, I don't normally use these boosts, but let's do it. You know, so I'm boosting up, and my plan is to go in there with my warlock, who I'm still learning, uh, so I don't know how best to use him, but I need the practice. All right. So you see here, I'm just putting in all the boosts that I can. I've never fought Symbiote Supreme on this node uh, with defense tactic flow. So I'm a little nervous. 
But I'm also thinking ahead for the next fight after this one, that guillotine 2099. So I go in here and, you know, most of the work is already done for me. He's half dead or half alive, depending on your perspective. All right. Now, my my uh, goal, my my plan, my strategy is very simple, is to get that infection on him as fast as possible. So I took those blocked hits in the beginning and uh, I'm just going, see he's got power flood, but as soon as I get that infection on him, that should slow down his power gain, okay? So there you go, he's still gaining power, but we got that power flood on him. Look at that, woohoo, oh, nasty. And then I got another special two, and he is down, loving it. All right, now again, my warlock is not awakened, uh, but that fight went down pretty smoothly. Again, he was already half dead, so that fight, I was pretty sure I could at least get him down. Now, I looked at those two dooms, and I thought about it. I really thought about it. And I said, hmm, what has he got on him? And I'm like, oh, wait, that's limber and the kinetic. I'm like, eh. And then this one here, you know, we had the recovery and all that. And I'm like, yeah, Warlock should do this fight, you know, pretty well. But there are a couple of things that made this fight more difficult. The defense tactic flow, okay, uh, that made this fight much more difficult. The recovery, of course, and that strike back. That really threw me off my game, okay? So... I didn't have any experience fighting Guillotine 2099 on this particular node. So I went ahead and popped an invulnerability boost just in case. Uh, they were in the store recently, so I was able to pick up two of them. All right. So again, my strategy is to try and get the um, infection on her as quickly as possible. Now you see that power flood. Okay. Not liking the power flood, but what else can I do? All right, we're baiting out her special two and we're going in, she's got the infection on her and I'm trying to do heavies because if you don't fire a heavy off, um, she will go what they call it, digi cloak, where you can't even touch her, okay? And you don't want that. So it goes on a cooldown when you hit with a heavy. So right now, it's not on cooldown. So you're going to see me parry and fire a heavy off. Boom. Now it's on cooldown. Now I can attack her normally. Okay. And that's what you're going to see me do for the rest of the fight. Now look at that. I got very, very lucky. All right. I didn't realize just how much the power flood from the defense tactic flow and the strike back combined would do i almost pushed her to a special three so now i'm scared now i'm worried okay so i'm fighting a lot more passively than uh, i normally would because i'm like okay i can't fire off a special um but what i should have done in hindsight uh because the power flood is not always there so you can parry and turn the power flood off from the defense tactic flow okay but the strike back would still be there. So what I should have done is when I had a special two, parry and fire off my special two. Don't try to hit her, parry, special two. Or parry and then wait and intercept with the special two. You'll get the strike back and hopefully you won't crit too much because that'll still give her a lot of power. All right, now you see there, I kind of messed up and she got the digi cloak on her. Okay, so I just had to wait that out, all right? But I'm looking at my uh, the time, and I'm like, oh my goodness, we're getting low here, okay? She uh, hit me with the special one, uh, even though you evade it, doesn't matter, it'll drain your power every time. I hate that. But now I'm like, man, I gotta go. You know, we got 30 seconds left, all right? So I'm trying to bait out this special two, I'm like, come on, come on. We don't have that much time, we got seconds left. All right, good, we got the special two out of her. All right, so now I need to um, hit her with a heavy. Boom. All right, now we got the digi cloak on cooldown. 
All right, so we're going, we're going. I wish I could do the special two right now, but I was scared, but I should have done it. I should have done it right there. But instead I waited, and then with only a few seconds left, she went digicloak. Time out. Oh man, I was so close. You guys don't know. I was sitting there and I was just like, I had that, I had it. So lesson learned. Uh, I needed to be more aggressive. I could have easily won that fight, but I wasn't used to those uh, node combinations and the defense tactic and all of that. So I was like, man, I don't believe this, but I'm still boosted up and I've got to finish, okay? So here we go. The first thing I did was fire off a heavy. Even though she's a robot, even though Omega Red doesn't do the best against robots. And then, you know, I was kind of salty already you know, about me losing and only salty at myself because that was just a mistake on my part. And uh, slow playing it was not the way to go. Um, so I was a little tilted, but we managed to get her down in the end there. Uh, but man, I had the one shot. But again, we have a very big lead at this point. I mean, I'm, I'm talking like 15, maybe 15 uh, kill lead. So pretty confident that we're going to win this war. All right, so stay tuned and we'll return and we'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and as you can see, we won this war. So our winning streak has continued for season 18. So that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching. This was a longer video than my normal war videos. So hopefully you found it enjoyable. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you did. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the fights, especially my fight against that guillotine 2099. Uh, let me know if there are some things I should have done with Warlock on that node or anything like that in case I encounter it again. Uh, but I do want to awaken my Warlock because I feel that in that fight, if he was awakened, I would have gotten her down much sooner. Uh, and I wouldn't have had to try and do that rush at the end or anything like that. Um, but that's just my thoughts. I really want him awakened even more now. Okay, so take care and you all have a blessed day.